I have a little bone to pick with all of you. I am literally so tired of hearing and seeing people comment and say that to be in the adult industry, you have to sell your soul and all of this rubbish. Some of my subscribers, my experiences and the things that I do are so wholesome. Like I literally have a subscriber who will send me $10 every single day just to buy my coffee. He is treating me better than most of your partners. Welcome to The Wall. In today's video, we'll talk about a content creator on the Blue app who slept with 22 men in 10, but not content with that. She ended up ruining her ex-boyfriend's life. And also her mother's because these women with this content ruined their entire family. Then want to say it's not my fault that people watch them. But before we continue, brothers, we invite you to subscribe, like the video. We want to reach 50,000 subscribers, so we ask for a small contribution so the family keeps growing. We'll leave our super chat if you want to donate to the channel. Don't forget to leave us your comments. Without further ado, let's begin. Guys, the day has finally come where I saw my stepdad in real life after him being subscribed to my only for two months. So this happened over a year ago. I have not seen him in this time. And on Friday, no, on Thursday, today is Saturday. So two days ago, I saw him in the flesh. I was just going to my laser appointment in a shopping center here in Newcastle and he was standing getting coffee at like the closest cafe he could possibly be at to the laser clinics, of course. Um, he was doing the, I'm going to pretend I didn't see this person trying not to look at me, but I know he would have seen me. I was wearing pink activewear shorts brighter than this, so there was no way that he missed me coming down the escalator. Um, I felt sick. I didn't believe my eyes. I thought that I was like having some kind of trauma response and I was just imagining him. But yeah, I fucking saw him. Someone just bought a video from me with the same username that my stepdad used to use on another website. So I've started a new platform this morning and I put up a new like few videos and someone just bought something using that same username. I have not posted this username anywhere. It is literally impossible for anyone who is not a family member to know what the username is unless it's freaking him. My bet is that he has found me now on this other website, even though he's blocked from all my social media, he's blocked from my main first website where he was subscribed and now he's purchasing my video somewhere else. At least he's not in my family anymore, right? Like. Do I just make money off him? This woman boasts in many videos that her stepfather used to watch her content on the Blue app. She blames him for how he could do that with his stepdaughter. But the question here is, how could you, who like to wear revealing clothes, always at your mother's house, not think that a simp who marries a single mother wouldn't be interested in seeing you giving it all in your endeavor on the Blue app? She mocks that she found him, of course ruining her mother's marriage. Now she uses her stepfather's name to continue creating controversy. So they search for her content. Now I ask myself, brother, what did she think would happen? Because this is not an isolated case. This woman is a cancer, a disease for her family, one that will spread to every male member of her family and any partner's family. This happens to thousands of models, as feminism and women's empowerment have taken care of it. This same model spreading it as an honorable job, so the girl no longer feels ashamed of it. Thousands live ruining their family's health, their partners. Because believe me, everyone is curious to see her doing yoga poses on her blue app. But as she says, she simply makes money from it. I have a bone to pick with 95% of the internet. I want to know why, because of my job, that people assume that I will see them in person for money. Now, I know that a lot of girls in my industry do offer this service, and that is on literally a list of services or a website where this is made aware to people that they offer this in-person work. So just because I post things on the internet, I just want to know why people assume that I take money to have intimate moments with other people. I just, I, my, I don't know how that works. To me, it's like saying to an actor, Oh, will you come and do like, you know, an at-home show for me? Because you're an actor. So wh why don't you just come into my house and do it? 
good for the girls who do it like all power to them but not my thing you know i do my thing and i share it as a video you chose that life it comes with the job most of these girls in this industry are mostly depressed coming from broken homes or they all have terrible character because they receive a lot of hate but also most men and many women see them as belonging to the streets nothing more Many don't find stable partners, many are shunned by their families because they ruin relationships for women in their homes. But not only that, several family members, whether uncles, cousins, or brothers-in-law, tend to subscribe to their content, and then they know how the story ends when they discover it. So, of course, if you see an electrician, you'd ask if they do house calls. If you see a doctor, you'd ask if they do house visits. Now, if you see a content creator on the Blue app, what would you ask, man? But she doesn't provide this service because she finds it degrading. Yet look at what she does in the next video. I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. My goal was 20 and I just hit 22 this morning. It's 1 p.m. now here in Paris and I need to check out because I'm going home. I really doubt I'm going to get another one on the board either on the plane or like on my layover. So I think 22 is where we're going to cap it out. But how did I go? She gets angry when asked if she provides that kind of service, but she goes on a trip around Europe and in 10 days, she's intimate with 22 men. It's like it was a double shift job in the morning and at night. Brothers, this disgusts me, but she doesn't offer that service. Yet let's see what happened with her boyfriend because of her reaction to this other video. What I want you to see is what it's like to get involved with a woman in this line of work, how they ruin their own lives and the family of every partner that comes along with them. Watch the next video. I just found out another family member has been subscribed for over 12 months. So my boyfriend's older brother's girlfriend has just texted me and she's like, can we get a coffee this morning? I was like, yeah, I've just finished the gym. Let's go get a coffee. And she sits me down and she's like, I need to let you know that so-and-so has been subscribed to your own pretty much since you guys started it. He has spent this much money out of our savings for the house, like they want to buy a house, and they've been fighting about it for the last three weeks. She literally just burst into tears and she's like, I need to go, I don't want to talk to you about this right now. And I'm just left with my coffee at the shops, processing the fact that another family member has seen everything and now I have to go home and tell my boyfriend that his older brother <laughs> has been watching us. So I just found out that my boyfriend's older brother has been watching my content for a little over a year and spent him like his savings with his girlfriend on me. Everyone just thought that he was like really into gambling and had an issue with that but turns out that the money was going to um, his girlfriend just went through their bank statements and was like, hmm, this doesn't look like it's, you know, being spent at the pub or being withdrawn cash, whatever, and did some research into what the transaction actually was. And it was, and she basically interrogated him and it's been me. So this guy, my boyfriend's older brother, has been watching our content, watching his little brother and me. <laughs> Let me tell you, they're the seed of evil. In modern times, men struggle with today's sexualization. You can't even escape it in the gym anymore. Many men become addicted to the content of these apps and some websites. So when a model starts dating a member of your family, or a family member gets involved in this, it's like telling an addict that what they consume is in the house, not to look for it. You know they will. They'll break furniture if necessary to find it. Look at how he spent money on a house, invested thousands of dollars just to see her. This woman ruined her mother's marriage, now her brother-in-law's. She's a seed of evil. That's why many professional parents or siblings repudiate the women in their family who engage in these blue app activities. They don't see how great actors take their own lives or are depressed because they can't go to their families for support. They don't want them to know they're associated with them. It's tough, but they chose the path of easy money, becoming a radioactive kryptonite that ruins everything in their path. That's why most of them are lonely. So I got back from Europe literally this week and frolicked around, slept with 20 people in 10 days. And my ex-boyfriend came over last night to get some of his stuff and he fucking proposed. And I panicked and I said yes and he's still blocked on all my social media so he has no idea what I've done. And 
I feel so guilty and I know that I should tell him, but like, oh, what the fuck? The brother who saw her go on a trip to sleep with 22 men in 10 days proposed to her. This is the lowest a man can stoop. This is true simping, even with a doctorate. A man who does this only gives me the impression that he's a freeloader, that she's the one supporting him. Brothers, how would you explain something like this? He knows what happened with his brother. He knows she slept with 22 men, and yet he wants to marry her. But if he were my son, I'd disown him because having my last name associated with him would be shameful. Any man hearing this, don't be this man, for God's sake. But this woman doesn't let anything bad pass her by. Check out the other video. I'm getting kicked out of my apartment because my neighbors and building management found out what I do for work. So I posted a TikTok and a reel in my pool. It wasn't even anything bad. It was just me getting out of the pool. And it's obviously landed on the wrong person's page or like explore page. I don't know. And they've recognized their pool. It's pretty obvious, the pool. And they've then gone to my profile, figured out what I do for work, complained to our like building management slash strata. And now I have four weeks to vacate my apartment. There is no explicit content that like reveals where I live or anything like that. It's like just an assumption that I guess the content is filmed and done here, which like fair assumption, but like, is this allowed? Like, of course I'm allowed to do whatever the heck I want with my body in my apartment, but like, just because I film it, I'm getting kicked out. Sorry, you're just jealous that I make so much money. <laughs> if you make so much money, you should pay for your own house. If I were the owner of a very expensive building and someone was filming themselves in the shared pool, of course I would kick them out of the building because they would only scare away my other tenants. But not only that, surely there are people with their daughters and sons, wives who don't want their husbands near a woman like this. Men don't want their daughters to take this as an example. Besides, if she managed to bring 22 men into a hotel during her trip to Europe, imagine what her house must be like. Of course, I would kick her out. Buy yourself your own house like you claim you make a lot of money. We've reached the end of the video, but before we go, the questions are for you. What do you think about women who engage in this type of content? And have you heard a similar story? Would you marry a woman who slept with 22 men in 10 days? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Your support means the world to us and motivates us to create more content. Stay tuned for the next exciting video from The Wall.